who is the best player that wanted your shirt? I think the biggest one that surprised me was probably Morata okay. from Chelsea, just because, you know, obviously the rivalry between Tottenham yeah, and Chelsea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Say on, bro. You good? Yeah, you okay? See you, man. You too. Recognize this? Yes, nice shirt. <laughs> what season was that? This is the first time you scored your hat-trick. Notts County away. Horrible pitch. We've got like the best collection of kits to basically tell your life story. No way. <laughs> so it's like 96 year, year you was born, 98. Proper retro. You want to put one of them on? Yeah, I'll put one on. Okay. Well, better put the Tottenham one on. A lot different to our shirt now. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so first <laughs> Bit of all, big. When you see a shirt like this, what, what player stands out to you? Alan Shearer. I just picture him in old shirts. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. I didn't really watch him play too much yeah. when I was growing up. Um, it was more like Steven Gerrard, Ronaldinho, yeah, players yeah, like that. Yeah. Do you so, ever have this Gerrard kit? Here. I didn't have it, no. No. I didn't have that many football tops growing up. Yeah, but Gerrard was definitely an influence on... Uh, he was a massive influence yeah. on me, watching him. His mentality on the field was obviously, you know, the best, I think. He always wanted to win, and obviously I could, I felt like I could relate to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, always yeah. wanting to win, and, you know, he was, a, he was definitely a leader for club and country, so... If you see a great player in a shirt, does that make the shirt stand the test of time sort of thing? My one is this Brazil shirt because I just remember um, Ronaldo, Ronaldo yeah, yeah, with that Ronaldo. funky haircut. Just take, <laughs> treating, was that when he had the little Yeah, yeah. <laughs> treating defenders like they're a bunch of plumbers, like, it was just, it was a class. Yeah, I think I watched more of Ronaldinho. He was obviously a player I love watching on YouTube and yeah. things like that. I remember having like a Real Madrid one, Zidane. Well, the first time I got my name printed on the kit. Okay. Yeah. I was buzzing. I was only going to Sunday school. And you had playing. to pay, a, is it a pound for a letter? Or yeah, yeah, like a pound for a letter. Like my dad broke the bank for that. <laughs> yeah. The first team you played for was that kit, like, can you remember? Played for a team called MK Rangers. We had a McDonald's logo in the middle. Yeah, yeah. And then we had, a, I think, the next year or before that, we had a thing that said, it just said, clean as our ass. <laughs> I remember you used to have to wash your kit, you have to take your shorts and socks home. Mm. And wash them, and then yeah. Was it baggy like that? It. it was long. There was always long sleeves. Yeah, yeah. I used to love playing in long sleeves. Why? Right. So. You scared of the cold? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Why is kits right now such a fashion staple in our culture? Before it was always basketball shirts. Right. Obviously, everyone in England you'd always wear like you know the Lakers Chicago Bulls, yeah. yeah. So like that, and then I've noticed like um, in America. A lot of the, like you said, the rappers and stuff, they're all wearing like Premier League yeah, shirts yeah. or international shirts and things like that. I'm not sure why, but I think it's definitely, there's more vintage ones as well. I think they're, yeah. just because vintage just sort of goes with the style, so. So ca own. casting your memory back, what was like the first shirt that you fell in love with? First shirt I fell in love with? Um, I think it was always England shirts. Yeah. Just because of how much it meant and obviously. Yeah, yeah. Got this shirt here, what does this remind you of? Is that my England? Youth team day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any memories of playing in the youth team? Yeah, um, I think that was that. I went to the Faroe Islands. Okay. With uh, under 16s or 17s. Imagine when you're 15, 16, walking into that first team change room and you see your name yeah. printed as a professional footballer. What's that? What's that high? What's that buzz? Yeah, it definitely feels like a dream. Mm. Um, because I think you can like you can play like manager mode and things like that on FIFA, <laughs> and you can you know you can sort of name your player what you want to yeah, name yeah, him and things yeah. like that, and then. For it to actually be like a reality is, yeah. uh, you know, it feels surreal. Also for England, about wearing suits, do you feel this? I'm not really a fan of suits that much. No? I like a free piece, I don't like... So you have to go all out? Yeah, I don't like one. it with just the blazer and the... Yeah, I like yeah. a free piece. If you can go back in time and play in one of these shirts, which one would it be? I think this one's cool. Yeah, that's 98. But I don't know what these ones would be like to play in. Yeah. They probably look better in it yeah. rather than feel better. <laughs> yeah. Because like now, obviously, like they're all designed and all like you know they're tight fitting and things like this, and these all just look a bit yeah, a bit baggy, a bit loose, so. a bit Sunday leaguey, innit? Yeah. <laughs> I remember crying when um, Brazil knocked us out with, with this kit. Did you say every time you cried watching England? Probably not watching. There was a time I cried playing. <laughs> <laughs> what was that time like? That's that was horrible. Um, yeah, obviously the Euros. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, that was a horrible feeling. So it's just the season you broke through? They all sort of blur into one. <laughs> <laughs> Growing up in Milton Kings, having that club there, did it make your goal of reaching it achievable sort of thing? Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, and they have a great academy there as well. Yeah. So you'd always like sort of, from a young age, we'd be doing ball boy and things like that in yeah. the training. You'd see all the first team players train. When I was growing up, I didn't have 
a mortgage to pay and things like yeah, that. Yeah, and yeah, I grew yeah. up playing street football with my mates and you know, it was just all about having fun. And that's just all the way it is now. I just want to enjoy playing. And uh, you know, as soon as I went out there at, on my debut and even before that when I was training the first team, I was just enjoying it and you know, not putting too much pressure on myself. Who is the best player that you've swapped a shirt with? Swapped a shirt? Uh, yeah. To be honest, I never really, like, I would only ask my friends because I was the like I was collecting shirts and it would always be like people that I'd either played with for international or growing right, up right, and then I'd right, swap right, shirts right. for them. So And who is the best player that wanted your shirt? I'm not sure, there's been a few. There's been a few. like you get um I always get surprised like when there's a player who you think is like, you know, obviously a very good player and then they come up to you after the game and they're like, Oh, I'm gonna have your shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's always a bit of a shock. Um, does that, yeah, that kind of make you feel like, yeah, I deserve to be here, I deserve to be playing amongst these greats? I think it can change your perspective of that person. Gotcha. You know, it sort of, you know. Brings you down how, to your level. Yeah, yeah. It, shows, it shows you how humble they are. And, right. You know, um, I think the biggest one that surprised me was probably Maratta. Okay. From Chelsea, just because, you know, obviously the rivalry between Tottenham yeah, and yeah, Chelsea. Yeah, yeah. And I think he posted it on his Instagram or something after. Nice. It just shows what like, a nice guy he is. Got some classic Spurs shirts. We also got one custom made for Kane. We didn't know who was going to be you or Kane, innit? So we <laughs> so you made some of him as well. If I wore this like in Shoreditch, I'd be getting bells. Like people would be thinking I'm the man. But this is just like a training top sort of yeah. thing. So this is there is a definitely kit? funky. Yeah. Is there a kit here that you would want to wear? I think this one. Right. I like this um, one. So I want to I want to pick you out this Crystal Palace shirt. Do you any memories of this shirt? Was that the goal I scored my volley? Yeah, that's, yeah. The, that's the, the goal of the season. <laughs> With a goal like that, yeah, are you planning every every step? Is it just happens in the game? Are you just in the zone? Like when the ball drops me, you know where the goal is. You know you have the awareness. You know where the players are yeah. and stuff. And you, I could sort of feel him coming out, so I knew I had to get it over him. <laughs> yeah, and then yeah. as it drops, you know, you just have like just a split hit. second yeah, to yeah, think. Yeah. And could have gone anyway. Could have gone up the stadium, but luckily sure. it went in. So. So here we got some like funky shirts. Just want to get your opinion on this, like. This muscular one here. Like, mm, what a is fan. That? <laughs> this one's the worst one for me. This top makes me want to go vegan. Like. Yeah, I don't know which one's worst. You know. <laughs> when you put, wear a kit and it feels good, do you do you feel like the man? Do you feel? Yeah, no, I think it is important, you know, to have, have a, a kit good that you kit. feel good. Yeah. The Tottenham Champions League one now. Like I like the way it's all white now. When you put it on and it fits good and everything like that. Yeah. So the same. You, when you look good, you, you feel good, and you play good. Is that? Would you say? I that's feel true? like it is. Yeah. yeah. So lastly, I just want to end on some some of the classics. Okay, what's this one? It's Ajax, a bit of Ericsson. So we've got this one for Poch as well. What, Agatha played in this? Yeah, he played in this top, but this is not his actual yeah, one. But yeah, yeah. It's a lot different to ours now. <laughs> yeah. What's this? Cameroon. Yeah, she wore this? <laughs> yeah, they were like four four times, you know, after the Cup of Nations, <laughs> and FIFA just said, no. Nah. Reckon you can pull it off? Hmm, I'm not sure. A player in your team, yeah? Who could What's wear this that? Kit? Who would it be? I'm going to say Serge. Serge, yeah. Oreo, yeah. yeah. Love that. <laughs> Last question is, all of these kits you've seen, if you had to pick one, that needs which to kit come. would it be? <sighs> That's a tough question. <laughs> hmm. Do you know, I love the, the Italy one. I don't know. I don't know. It's <laughs> tough. It's a tough question. So go ahead, man. We need, we need your answer. Um, OK, I'm going to go with... Ah, I don't know. <laughs> I'll go with this one. Yeah. Yeah. 98. 98, love that. Obviously it's retro. Um, and you can wear it for football and fashion. Yeah, <laughs> love that man. Cheers, Deli, appreciate, appreciate your time man. Cheers, thank you. Nice to meet you. Cool, nice to meet you too. Love.